So to start this knife, I got a large piece of 1095 steel plate and I decided to use this instead of forging it from stock because I'm not particularly great at forging yet and the end product was going to be very thin. This is a secondary knife I made out of the same plate because I had extra steel and I figured I'd show you guys how I finished off the shape on the first one. Uh, the rough shape was just cut out with an angle grinder. So here I'm just going to take those harsh edges off the knife with my belt sander and I'm going to bring them down to the line I have marked on the knife uh, to bring it down to the final shape. This is the normalizing process. I did about four of these to get rid of any stresses in the knife. I then popped it in the forge for a minute to get it back up to temperature and then quenched it, which you can see here. This, however, is when the first knife utterly failed on me, as you will see in a moment. During quench, a very large crack had formed, and at this point, this knife had been in the works for quite a while, and it was really disheartening. So I took some time off and played with my dog. This really helped me get ready to start everything over again, including reshaping, and extra normalizing cycles, just so I could make sure I got all those stresses out that apparently I hadn't in the first knife. And this is actually the same video of the quench, because I forgot to take a video of the second one. This is just me getting rid of all the forge scale and flattening the surface, prepping it for hand sanding, which I am doing here. I went all the way up to 200 grit, I believe, and I think it turned out pretty well. This is only about 15 minutes of me doing it in hyperlapse. I spent hours doing this, but I think the end product was worth it. Look at that shine. And now on to my favorite part, the oiling of the handle. I used a cyanoacrylate coating over black palm with brass pins, and I sanded this all the way up to 2000 grit, and I think it turned out pretty great. This was my first time doing a cyanoacrylate coating over my handle, and I would highly recommend it. It turned out great and took a very high polish in the end, and it protects the handle very well. And now it's time to test the edge, which is very sharp if I do say so myself. And because this was going to be used for meat quite often, I decided to try it out on some pork loin, and it cut through like butter. Then I cut some potatoes, because why not? All in all, this was a great knife to make. I learned a lot from it, and the customer is very happy with his purchase.